My name is Anne Risto, and I am a Managing Principal Instructor with IT Conversions. And today, I want to walk you through the setup and use of the Accounts Payable and Accounts Receivable Netting feature, which is a new feature within Oracle's eBusiness Suite Release 12. I'll first go over the, a scenario, show you the setup steps, and then we'll discuss the netting process. The scenario, I have customer X who owes us $100 for invoice one and $150 for invoice two. I have supplier X, which happens to be the same trading partner, that I owe them for an invoice for $120. Prior to release 12.13, there was a manual solution to do this. First, I would create a bogus bank account using a clearing account for the asset. Second, I would create a payable check to Supplier X for $120 drawn on bogus bank account. Third, I would create a receivables receipt to Customer X for $120 into the bogus bank account. The net result is that I would owe Supplier X no money and there'd be a $130 balance for customer X to pay me. In release 12, this is an automated process. The first thing is we're going to create a netting bank account. For whatever reason, the auditors don't like the word bogus bank. You're supposed to laugh there. Anyway, so we're going to start in cash management by creating a netting bank account. So where you create a bank, we're going to set it up so that the legal entity, in my case, Vision Operations, it owns the bank account and it will be able to be used for both payables and receivables. The important thing about the netting bank account is, is the name that, that you use so that you identify it as strictly a netting account because in essence this is a quote bogus bank account. This is used for internal purposes only. Now, when you go to create the bank account, you have to give it the different asset account numbers. So you would give it a cash account. Notice the asterisk makes it required. But what's important is that you give it a clearing account number. In my case, I just find it easier and less intimidating if I go ahead and use a clearing account, but I also say that the asset is the same clearing account number. The other thing that's important to use is there is a field that says netting account. I want you to set this to yes. And what that does is when the field is set to yes, it triggers Oracle not to use the cash account when it's doing its journal entries, but rather it says to go use the value that's in the cash clearing field. And then don't forget in release 12, after you create the bank account, you have to give different organizations use of it. So in this case, I'm giving Vision Operations access to use my netting account for accounts payable and accounts receivables. The second thing you have to do in Release 12 is I need to create a netting agreement for every trading partner combination. So in my first example, I had uh, customer X and supplier X. That is a trading partner combination. If I had customer Y and supplier Y, that would be a second combination. So I'm going to create a netting agreement for every trading partner combination. You also, when you create this netting agreement, you need to determine what trading partners and their sites should be netted. By default, it would net all sites for that trading partner, but maybe you only want to net when it's only at the Overland Park, Kansas location. You need to find out, do you need trading partner approval? It's all well and good that on your side of the house that you've netted to zero, but you need some way to notify your trading partner the fact that you actually have a zero balance or that, that you have netted these together. And we do that using trading partner approval. How often should you net? Well, do you want to net when your payables exceeds your receivables? 
Do you only want to net if uh, your receivables is 180 days old or older? You need to decide how often you should net. You also need to know what type of transactions you want to net, both on the payable side, what invoice type should be netted, against what receivable transaction types. So here's the setup. We go into the netting agreement. You could find this over on the accounts receivable side of the house. So I'm going to make a netting agreement. My suggestion is when you make the name, you use the name of the trading partner. It just makes life a little bit easier. It wants to know what netting bank account to use when the netting is done. Over here on the right hand side is a checkbox to find out if you want to use netting partner approval. If you are going to use approval, you are using Oracle Workflow, so there will be some education on the trading partner side of the house to teach them how, how to approve a workflow. What are my um, netting rules? How do I want to net if I have lots of invoices out there? Which ones do I pick up first? In my case, I'm saying pick it up by the due date. Take the oldest to the most recent. I'm saying always net, okay? And I'm netting only within a certain currency. Over here, on, under payables, it says these are the different payables invoice transaction types that I want to net against what receivable transaction types. The next part of my netting agreement says what is the supplier name and what is the customer name. Albeit, it probably should be the same name, it doesn't have to be. Remember, suppliers and customers reside separately in the database. Even though they are part of the TCA, there's a way to name them differently. So in this case, I'm saying take everything from the Supplier Advantage Corporation, regardless of the site, and I'm going to net with the Customer Advantage Corp, but only for a very specific location. So I'm not picking up all of the customer transactions, only certain ones. By the way, this is uh, my screen prints are from the Vision database. So if you wanted to repeat this setup, you'd be able to repeat this using uh, Vision and Advantage Corporation. The third step is the netting process. Now, so you set up a netting bank. You only needed one netting bank account. Secondly, you created a netting agreement for every trading partner combination. That's a one-time setup. Now, on an ongoing basis, you're going to run the netting process. And you do this by submitting a netting batch for each netting agreement that you have. So um, again, I'm logged into accounts receivable and I go over to the netting agreement where I'm going to choose the operating unit, what netting agreement, and then I'm going to go ahead and submit that transaction. Now once you upgrade to Oracle's release 12.2, we'll be able to create these netting batches as recurring netting batches, but right now all of this is manual. So what I'm really finding out there is it's people are just having one or two netting agreements because if you had hundreds, this is an awful lot of typing you have to do. So a lot of people are waiting for 12.2. You might, and this is, you would have to check with Oracle MetaLink, you may be able to patch yourself up for this reoccurring batch process. Personally, I've never taken a look to see if you could, but, but th that might be an option worth investigating if you have a lot of netting agreements. Oops, sorry about that, went too fast. So what happens when the netting process runs on the double, on the payable side, it's going to debit a payables liability for $120 and it's going to credit your clearing account for $120, the clearing account that is sitting on the netting bank account. On the receivable side, it's going to debit the, uh, that clearing account for $120, so now my clearing account is zero, and it's going to credit the receivables account for $120. A few little gotchas that you need to be aware of, and I'll let you read these. Um, these are some bugs. Why doesn't reversing a netting batch void the AP payment? That is a bug. 
but there is a fix for it, so go ahead and uh, get that note off of um, Metalink. Also, is ARAP netting off possible across un operating units in R12? And right now, you're only allowed to use the netting across a single operating unit, okay? So go ahead and take a look at that note um, on Metalink for, for more information. And that's it. So I hope that AP and AR netting is a solution that works for you.